Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Siege Survival Gloria Victis. We made a good start in the last episode by upgrading our storehouse and we've fended off one set of attacks from, uh, from the Izmirs. Uh, and in this episode we hope to build some more of the crafting stations that we need and just generally survive. So let's jump straight in. Okay. The night was calm, but the enemy assault can come any day, and we must prepare for it. We should use this chance to help the soldiers at the Bastion. Right. Now. Clint is exhausted, he's also hungry and thirsty. So, he can eat the vegetables that we have. That was our only vegetables. He can drink some water. He can use a makeshift bandage because he's slightly wounded. Bertram should get out of here now. And tell me what I need for a water collector. Because, uh, you know, it's raining. Now would be a good time. Ah, fibres. I don't have fibres. Okay. Let's get Flint into bed here. Put a bowl out and collect some of the actual rainwater would be good. Very hungry. Let's give them some greens. Oh, hang on, we're on slow. And we'll see the pigs. They're the ones that are hungry, I think. They can have the smelly eggs. Because I can't actually make the uh, butchery table. And then we'll drink some water as well. One wounded. Okay, we'll send them a bandage in a minute. Let's do that now. Okay, and then I guess we're digging through here for the rest of the day. Yeah, need a lot more of that. So, I think the chickens have just laid eggs as well, so maybe we'll go and get those in a sec. But the, um... I think they actually carry over if you leave them anyway, as well, so. So yeah, trying to get the rainwater collector early, obviously I've now sacrificed having the butchery table and a few other things, I've actually just noticed there's fibres ready here, so I'm going to go and grab those. Um, yeah, so we'll see if that's a good idea or not in a minute. So we've got some more fibres now. Right, so what was it we needed over here? Oh, we need materials for that. We need materials for that, planks and materials for that. Planks, tools and materials for that. And tools, tools and planks for that. So, let's have a little look here for tools. Tools take planks and fibres, which we now have, so we can make we can make tools there. Let's grab some planks. Let's 
Okay, we're probably going to run out of time after making this one. So let's make one set of tools. Not quite. Okay, and it's saying that Flinch should stay in bed because he's uh, he's wounded still. But actually, Bertram's better at fighting, and I do want to go and see if killing a guard raises the alert level still for the following night. So I'm going to take just the axe here because there's the one guard that's walking around the golden corner. And I reckon we could probably get the jump, jump on him if we hide well. So he's got the axe. So. Let's go around here. And we'll hide around here somewhere. This looks as good a place as any. And also, do the guards come back? Hide, hide, hide. Do we have a chance to, like, just execute this guy? Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Okay, we've been spotted. On Bertram. Okay, so they're going to search for him and increase the patrols anyway now. Okay, what have we done? Oh no. Uh, you know, we do have some more broken weapons and things. Okay. I kind of need the wood more than I need the valuables. Hmm, cloth as well. Yeah, there was a storehouse this way that required an axe, I think, to get into it. So we're going to do that because the axe will probably break. Try to break down the door here. Medicine and bandages. Right, okay, so. I want to take all of these. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave the broken axe for now and take the bandages. And we'll leave the one fi fiber and take the herbal meds. And I'm going to take everything else with me as well. Oh, is that another guard has turned up? Oh, wow, okay. They've turned up quick. Where's this guard um, patrolling? Is he just doing the same route? Okay, so it's probably not... You can get weapons from them, but it's not probably not actually worth killing and attacking the guards. Does that mean I'm now going to have guards out here in this area as well? Because there are guards patrol that patrol this part. 
if you get caught. Oh yeah, look. Is he going to come this way or is he walking past? Okay. Well, that got that's just got a lot more interesting. <laughs> We've killed the enemy's city guard. They won't forget that quickly for the next few days. Enemy patrols will be sweeping the city. Maybe it's a good idea to lay low in the castle for some time during the night. Okay. Soldiers have nothing to eat. Flint's recovering. Some of our animals are still starving. Right. Bertram. What can we make? Oh, we were making something over here. Yeah, the one egg thing doesn't do anything. We really do need to get that butcher butchery table for fodder. Let's go over here and see if we can make that. Butcher's table. We're going to rarely get meat, so we'll chuck that over there. Actually, Bertram can build that. And Flint can go over here and uh, get stuck into this. Okay, we do have um, a carcass. We have two carcasses. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make gonna make two lots of fodder for the animals that so keep them uh, inefficient materials. What's the most efficient materials then? That. Yes, we are. Because my pigs aren't going to die this time, that's for sure. Right, flint. Arrows. Bastion. Arrows for Bastion. Um, he's recovering still. Let's send them over a meal and uh, plenty of water. Bertram can now go to the fireplace and see if we can cook some food. Oh no, we made fodder. That's what we, that's what we made. We didn't actually butcher the carcass yet. Flint can do that now. There we go. Right, what do we need now for anything else? We could do the repair bench, right? Yeah, I don't want to build that. Um, two more planks. Okay, we can do that.
now. Do we lie low for a couple of nights or do I risk going out? Um, oh, Bertram's got himself sick. Okay. So I need materials for that. Ah, oh, now here's the choice. Do I do I build a repair workshop or the rainwater collector? Um, what's the difference here? Just planks. We'll do both, but I want to build this and get it get it going now, so that we can actually have some sort of water collected, especially whilst it's raining. That would make the most sense to me. Okay, flint. Let's butcher that. Let's make... We need firewood. Rather a lot of firewood. We also need planks for the other build. Um, tell you what, eat that. Drink that. Bertram is tired, but I'm going to get him to do that. Oh, actually. He can go and take the herbal meds. Okay, so we just need a repair bench now, and a crop plot, and a rack catcher, and another drying rack, and all sorts of stuff. So Flint's gonna scavenge, he's gonna he's slightly sick and extremely tired, so we are going out and about. Um and I think we should probably go without any weapons just for the extra space. Oh wow, he's right there. I'm going to head straight down here. Can we hide here? That was close. That was very close. So we don't know the frequency. I don't know if there's one there. I don't know if there's two there. But we are... We are going to need to go and get stuff. I'm going to follow this guy relatively uh, closely. And now he's walking that way. Oh god, there's another one coming. Okay, he's gone that way. And he stopped. Can we not walk through here? Oh, this guy's coming this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it. Okay, he's coming this way. Ooh, it gets more fun when they're uh, when they're actively looking for you. <laughs> right, where's the guy that's coming this way? Because I might be wedged between two guys here.
but I think it's probably uh, a good reason to get out of here. We have managed to get some stuff, that's fine. The enemy assault approaches. Okay. Soldiers have recovered, Bertrand's recovered. Some of our animals are starving again. What? They're hungry. They can have a couple of greens. Bertrand can go and get that. Some of our guys are starving. Bertrand's really hungry. The pigs are starving again. Okay, we can make them more fodder. Let's make them more fodder. So the next battle is today. Um, I suppose I could send them the axe now. Let's craft that. Okay. Um... That will help them now. Let's send them the axe. We will craft some firewood so we can feed Bertram. Oh god. Come on, Flint. Put this fire up. I think they targeted the water collector last time. Pigs here. Okay, let's craft two meals here. Actually, you can go to bed. Okay, Bertram can eat a fresh meal. Okay, and we will send. Oh, we'll take these. We can send a meal to the Bastion. Not that they're going to be eating now, but you know. Every little helps. So, what is this going to cost me to repair this? Oh, nothing, just time. Okay, that's fine. And we really desperately do need a repair bench now. How do we do? Uh, repair bench. Three planks. Christ, they took a hammering down to 26. Let's have a look here. None wounded, none sick, none dead. Okay. Outright victory. Long live the brave who stood their ground so firmly and painted the plains surrounding the castle with the blood of our enemies. Get wrecked. Although we did lose quite a lot of equipment. But you know, we can lose equipment, that's fine. We just need the, the garrison to stand strong. Oh, we've got some fibres here as well. take those. Now, is it worth us drawing a couple of these meats? I 
because we have 12 fibre now. Let's get a couple of those done for our guys because it's quite, it's quite useful. Let's get the repair bench going, although we're probably not going to finish building it today. Um, I think it's this way around. Did I not leave enough space for it to go there? I did. There we go. If we can build up their equipment again and give them a good fighting chance in the next fight, then we might actually uh, manage to uh, save them this time. So we need planks for that, fibres for those, so we can do those now. Although we'll get interrupted. Okay, we're sending him back out. Actually, I think we could probably have one... one night here where they don't go out. Ah uh, yes, Galvik went over the wall and uh, they want us to get into the guardhouse, so we need a shovel for that. Okay folks, we're going to end the episode here. We've managed to build a few more of the crafting stations now and, uh, and the water collector, obviously. Um, more importantly, both of our pigs are still alive. Um, and we found out that we can kill guards and take their equipment, although it was broken. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we don't run into any trouble sneaking around anymore. Uh, but yeah, we hope to catch you in the next episode. Thanks for coming along today to support the channel. If you did like this uh, episode, you know what to do. And in the meantime, take care of yourself and stay safe. <laughs>